Last year's HP Omen laptops were really good, but they lacked behind in one crucial area, the gaming performance, mainly due to selecting low TGP graphics. Now, in 2022, the course has been corrected, as the new Omen 16 brings Alder Lake H-series processors and a 140 watts RTX 3060. The laptop reuses the design from last year, a fine move in our opinion. It keeps things minimal, while the plastic lid and aluminum base provides decent durability. The Omen Emerald on the back is now a black diamond, which looks pretty good. The hinges on the back are rigid. In terms of dimensions, the laptop weighs 2.41 kilograms and has a profile of 23 millimeters. Despite the 16-inch footprint, the keyboard comes without a numpad, instead implementing massive arrow keys. The keyboard is one of the better ones that we've seen, with long key travel and clicky feedback. There's also a 4-zone RGB backlight, with a per-key option as well. The touchpad is accurate and responsive, albeit the surface isn't the smoothest. The input-output is split between the back and the sides. On the left, there's a full-sized 5 gigabit USB port, a LAN port, an audio jack, and an SD card reader. On the right, there are two more full-sized USB ports of the same speed. Lastly, on the back, we see two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a power plug. You can choose between three display options, 60 or 144 Hz Full HD IPS, or 165 Hz QHD IPS. We've chosen the 144 Hz variant as it has the best price to quality ratio, in our opinion. It's good for gaming, with 9 milliseconds response time. What's better, it has great creator capabilities, with 408 nits of peak brightness, 100% sRGB coverage, and great color accuracy, even with the factory settings. Of course, our design and gaming profile gets it even better, lowering the Delta E value down to 0.8. You can get our profiles from the link in the description below. On the inside, sits an 83 watts hours battery pack, which lasts for 6 hours and 34 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 57 minutes of video playback when paired with the Core i5-12 500H and a 140 watts RTX 3060. Not that bad, given the powerful internals. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Core i5-12500H is an outlier of a CPU, as its 12 cores and 16 threads put the Ryzen 7 5800H and Core i7-11800H from last year to shame. In terms of its competition, the Legion 5i Pro offers pretty much identical scores with the same CPU. As for the 140 watts RTX 3060, it matches the 100 watts RTX 3070 from last year which shows just how important wattage is to performance. The GPU can max out most games at 1080p while going above the 60fps gold standard. In eSports titles, you can take advantage of the 144Hz display, as even in COD Warzone the GPU pushes exactly 144fps in normal settings. Our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel tests the most popular GPUs in many games, including the 140 watts RTX 3060, if you want to assess its performance in other titles. Omen laptops have always brought good cooling to the table, and this device is no different. We see two big heat pipes for the processor and graphics, along with one smaller pipe for each of them, for a total of four. Below them, there are large heat spreaders, which cover a decent chunk of the motherboard. Two fans blow the hot air away, through vents on the back and sides. The Omen 16 is unmatched in long runs, maintaining a 3.7 GHz speed on the P cores, even after 15 minutes, while temps weren't that high. The RTX 3060 uses all of its 140 watts TGP, 
but the clock speeds aren't as high as we would hope for, around 100 MHz lower than the Legion 5i Pro. With such good performance, comfort is sacrificed a bit. Noise levels are quite high, as the fans are total screamers. Temps on the other hand are good, as the palm rest and keyboard remained cool. The laptop is very upgradable, with two SODIM slots for DDR5 memory that work in dual channel mode and two M.2 slots for generation for SSDs. Our teardown video shows how to get inside the Omen 16, so if you're interested, you can check it out in the description. The Omen 16 has improved on the only area where it was largely lacking in 2021, which instantly makes it one of the sleeper hits of 2022. If you think we missed something, you'll probably find it in our written review on our website.